it's Paul from Staffordshire Caravans and today I'm going to show you how to replace um, the lock barrel out of a, a Sterling or a Swift Caravan that have these, that have these tangs there and quite often, like this one here, you can see how it's broke off in the lock. So you might find that the lock is quite stiff and crunchy, grindy, so we're going to have a look today at changing that and putting this one in. So let's have a look. So what we've got to do, we've got to remove this fascia, we've got to remove this here as well, and remove the handle. Um, if we go over to the tools over there, we'll show you what tools we'll need. So you need a pry tool, you need a, either two small pry tools or a small flat blade screwdriver pry tool, and um, just a posi 2 screwdriver. Yeah. So we'll start removing my start by removing this center cap, the gray center cap in the corner there. So that comes off. It reveals three posi 2 screws. We'll remove this. Try and use your pry tool so that you don't damage it too much. If you use a flat blade screwdriver, you can dig into it. And that reveals two other screws, and that's necessary for taking the front part, part of the lock off. Now, the, the most risky part about this is removing this outer piece because it's only pushed in with some metal, uh, little plastic clips, and they can break off. So you just have to be careful with that. So I'll just get uh, the screwdriver now. So we remove that silver disc with the three screws. And you've then got this handle. If you just wiggle it free, it will come out. Then this part, if you can sort of pull at it and prise at it gently without doing too much damage to these little clips here, some of them of which have broken off. So we'll put them to one side. Remove these bottom two screws. And then there are four screws holding the whole unit together then. So just be careful on this last one because the part might just, uh, the front part might just fall off. Just hold it together with your hands. So we'll leave the screws in there. This piece, this back piece, you don't need to do anything with. Just put it to one side. The front piece, so we're not actually changing this long piece here. The barrel sits in and the two tangs at the bottom operate this mechanism, but we need to remove the sir clip and the rest. We're gonna put this on the on the step over there so we can see a bit more clearly. I'll take some tools with me. So we're just going to do a little video today on how to remove this lock barrel, the barrel out of there, and, and reinstall it and put a new one in. Quite often, so I've got an example here of another barrel where the little tang on the end has broke off and it basically is not very effective, not very efficient, it doesn't work properly then. So we're gonna we're gonna do that now. We'll start from here. So we remove this plastic rubber and 
take the circlip off. Be careful it doesn't fling off. Mind your fingers. Then remove the black plastic piece. You'll see that there is a spring there and take note. So I always remove the top hook that hooks in with a little pry tool. Just unhook it gently and then it all uncoils. that that will allow this whole piece to push out just to take note again there are three little lugs there and three notches on the outer barrel casing that slots back in when we're ready to pop that back in so to get the barrel out if you've got the key put the key in to release most of the pins and then at the same time we're holding this outer barrel and pushing this you've also got to remove one of the you've got to push one of the pins in that's stopping it from coming out See that one and it'll turn round and rotate round until that comes out so that's the barrel that piece comes out there it just slots back in all the way down there spins round so piecing this back together and then putting the barrel back in I um, I like to piece this back together first and then put the barrel in afterwards so line the outer casing up with these three notches with the top slot that in which I've not done <laughs> Like that so it's flush looking at the position of this can you see how it's smooth there and I keep turning it around till you see the the gap open up now that's where the springs gonna go so we pop the spring on like that Making sure that that doesn't drop down. Anchor the spring with the bottom hook there. And then you, you've got to coil the spring round and hook the top one. That's not quite right there. So at the same time, pulling this out to make sure it doesn't drop back in. There. So we'll just do that a few times just to make sure it's on. And that spring then should fit nicely within this black casing. And you've pushed that down and pulled this out. It should be springy like that. You want to hold that together with the circlip. fiddle and you don't want to lose this circlip just push that on so it's got it that goes back on over the top not all the way just so it sits nicely then we can look at putting the new barrel back in so what you might have to do is twizzle 
that mechanism there as you've got the key in the barrel so that all the pins are pushed in apart from that all the pins are pushed in apart from that bottom bottom one there and then you've got to line up those two tangs with with that piece at the bottom i don't know if you can see there so let's try it now Sometimes I can do this straight away. Sometimes it takes a few attempts. You don't, if it doesn't seem to fit in nice and smooth straight away, don't force it. It will come back out. I can't remember. But at the same time, you might have to twist. There we go, it's, it's, it's gone in. It was sort of sticking out five mil. Uh, just wiggled that, wiggled the barrel a few times and that's gone in. So that location, locating pin has got that now. So it's working as it should, lock and unlock. So then we're ready to piece the, piece the lock mechanism back together. So I think we'll pause it at that and then we'll, because I can always uh, edit this last little bit, but we'll pause it at that. Um, that's it so we're going to piece this lock mechanism back together loads of bits there well, there's the new barrel in the in the lock there right i'm just going to move the camera over to Paul. so first part i'm just going to close this door now that is to be offered up. Make sure that the seal, little foam gasket, is on the inside. And just place it in. Move the door back around. Here. This next part is the the main well, it's not the main lock mechanism, the other lock mechanism goes to the back of it. So you're just lining up the four screws that are in here with the four screw holes there. And obviously that part goes in the centre. I'll just get my screwdriver. started with all these screws out really just to make sure that they line up properly they don't need to be over tightened at all ideally with a manual screwdriver just just nipped up so just test the mechanism there that the door handle works okay so we're going to got two more screws at the bottom down here the two long ones these are a bit more of a fiddle because you've got to try and centralize where the um, plastic housing is for them to make sure that you're not just going straight into the foam insulation inside the door at an angle. That's how they port on there. Screw cap cover. Then on this bit, gotta get 
this right. Which bit is it, please? Yeah, it's this bit first. So it's this outer plastic casing first. So it, it, it hooks on over the door catch first. Line up the plastic clips. And push down. A couple of these have broke off down here. Still a couple holding it on there. And I'll just grab some extra bits down here. Paul. Next bit is this door handle piece. I'm just going to get a screwdriver because when you offer that up to this well, hexagonal shaft there, it's not a case of just pushing it on. There's there's um this piece here that slots over the top of a spring. And I don't know whether you can see that spring where the screwdriver is there. And that spring's pushed up. So if you do that now and push that in, if the spring goes, if the spring goes over the top of this plastic notch, that's not the correct way. It will seize up. It won't, it won't operate properly. So you have to get your screwdriver in through this hole same time as bending that spring down whilst pushing and then that should should work fine then so the next thing is the chrome surround three screws and then the black uh, the gray center cap And that's that. That's how to change the lock barrel. We'll stop at that, eh, Paul? Okay. I reckon that's it.